All right, in this example, we're asked to use the sum and difference formulas to verify this identity. That's the sine of t is equal to the cosine of t minus pi over 2. Now, we've kind of looked at this before, that um, the uh, sine and cosine are related to each other. They're just, um, one is just shifted by 90 degrees to the left or right and of the other, right? So, um, but let's go ahead and use the, the difference formula. We're going to use this difference formula for cosine, okay? So I'm going to just work uh, on this uh, right-hand side of the equation, and I'm going to use the difference formula for cosine, okay? So we could go scroll up, I guess, and, and find that up here. Uh, we're looking for the difference formula for cosine, right? So I guess that's the one we used before. Cosine theta, cosine phi, plus sine theta, sine phi. All right, so have that handy while you're doing this so you know those formulas. So in this case, this is this is our theta and this is our phi. The pi over 2 is our phi. So I'm just going to write the cosine of t times the cosine of pi over 2 plus the sine of t times the sine of pi over 2. All right, well, there's not really much I can do with the cosine of t, right? But I know the cosine of pi over 2, right? Pi over 2 is 90 degrees. The cosine at that point is just 0, okay? So I'm just going to multiply by 0. Again, the sine of t, it's just not, not much I can do with that, but I do know the sine of pi over 2 is 1. All right, so this part goes away because anything times 0 is 0, and I'm just left with the sine of t which is what I had here on the le left-hand side. So that verifies that this is true by the sum and difference formulas. All right, I will meet you in the next video.